She's been staying here so much when she gets in her car and turns on Google Maps, it says 19 minutes to until home, and it's talking about here. Wow. You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins have found a shroud. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. Oh, oh, it's turn. Indian and London and whatever the fuck year this is. <laughs> well, this, that was based on the same time as the uh, Declaration of Independence or something like that. One in the 1700s. Yeah, it's sometime like that. I don't know. Whenever Charles Darwin was alive, it's during that time. Because Charles Darwin's in the fucking game. <laughs> Kinda of funny. Go. Says Charles Dickens. <laughs> Do you know? I think. It's not I think. That might be 1800s. Yeah, I think it is. Master assassin and pirate. Yes. Let me see what it says when I pause. This broke a lock. Austin's eating healthier. He made us go to Tropical Smoothie today for lunch. Sounds terrible. It was awful. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. When does, when does all syndicate take place? Eighteen sixty-eight is when Syndicate takes place. Yeah, when I mean, you said Charles Dickens, I was like, yeah, it might be eighteen hundreds. Yeah. And yeah, Charles Darwin was alive in the eighteen hundreds, so yeah, that makes sense. I couldn't remember when he was born. I've never heard of one being in London. Uh, I think he was born like eighteen hundred or maybe late seventeen hundreds, because he's an old man in this. So. so it's possible, but if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true. Old Charles Darwin, Mr. Evolution Man. Indeed. I need to find out myself. Mm -hmm. It's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. My guy looks bad it. fucking ass. Right. Look. Oh yeah. I wish there was a video game for like D and D stuff. <laughs> I know. That makes getting in a challenge. I really wish we could play D and D more. I really like it, and I hate that I live so far away, though. Don't worry, we'll stay well away. That's what I hate the drive. Right. That's why I want to start DMing, but like with, but have you part of the group and some of our other friends? Because I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'd like to do it. But yeah, we'd have to find the right friends, I guess, to be a part of it. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
15 foot drop that killed me. With full <laughs> health. What the fuck? After I just took out an entire fucking village of bandits. Probably didn't auto save. Probably not. You're gonna have fun doing that again. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Watch it be like not beatable now. Like it's just. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I gotta respin all my fucking skill points too. Shit, man. Oh, fucking, this fucking takes forever. Oh, but that fall didn't kill me, huh? God <laughs> oh, damn it, how far away is that? Oh, it pisses me off. Shitty. Fuck yeah, it is. You gotta go back and redo all this. Fuck. Ooh. I guess now you know that if you kill an entire town of people by yourself, you're, uh, you just save. <laughs> Do the not Fucking a barrel fell off anything! God damn it. D D F D. Well, I'm pretty sure it was on the other side. Dad a dad after. Fucking piano keys right now. <laughs> oh, they have it labeled. Awesome. This piano is beautiful. Do you play? No. Yay. I have to go re kill all these fucking people. Not enormously subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. I feel like my assassin friend isn't really my friend. <laughs> I feel like he might be a Templar double agent. <laughs> One bitch down. This is I think the question is are you prepared to die? <laughs> Uh, did you hear about the uh, new Dragon Ball game called Project Z? Oh, what? Project Z. It's supposed to, from what everyone's heard so far, it's supposed to be a open world like Dragon Ball game. Oh, dude, I'll fucking play shit out of that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get off here for like 20 minutes or so here in a bit. She wants to FaceTime me on her lunch for some stupid fucking reason. Okay, well, I'll just go eat when you do that, so... Okay. It works, it works out. <laughs> Butt mashing, yeah, you fine. Uh-oh. Oceans. 
An entire vault filled with assassin history left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later or find a better cache. We? I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I. I was thinking more of. I forgot about like the restoration shit you can do. Cause like. Jacob's off marauding. Because I never did heal myself with spells like I probably should have. Uh-huh. Can get me, bitch. You earned one skill point. Fuck, 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 fuck you. I swear to God, this guy had different items when I killed him last time. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? They might be randomly generated. <laughs> but I don't remember that being a thing in Scarring. <laughs> I don't either, but when I killed this guy last time, he had this badass uh, helmet. Oh, I he doesn't have it anymore, so I don't know. Uh, have you ever played any of the other Elder Scrolls games? I played this one, and then I bought Oblivion because I was like, damn, because I heard Oblivion was really good, and I played a little bit of it and didn't like it because the graphics were fucking shit. And I've also heard that Finding where you need to go is always a pain in the ass because they don't give you waypoints. <laughs> yeah, it kind of was. And, well, I found the Thieves Guild within like my first 20 minutes of playing the game, so I tried to go join them, but it was just fucking retarded the way they did it. And, you know, also, it was Morgan Shares telling me how good Oblivion was, so I probably shouldn't have trusted his judgment. Right. I was say, it's probably easier to play that game whenever you're higher than a fucking kite. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'll say, people say Morrowind was really good too. The third one. But I think those three are the really the only open world ones. Like, yeah. uh, that are like first and third person. Because I think like the first two, I think they're kind of open world, but I think it's maybe top down view or something weird like that. Oh, the first one's not open world. That one's called Elder Scrolls Arena. So it's like a fighting... It's like a... Like it has story, but it's like a top-down, like, battle. You know, like, fighting game. 